What are the challenges and barriers to sustainable finance? Will a move towards sustainable finance require market-based solutions or regulatory driven changes? How can financial institutions change the way they allocate financing towards greener banking? My name is Shaya Onobolu and I'm a director at Sona Analytics, an innovative market leader in sustainability analytics, corporate finance and risk management. Very recently, we launched a CSR solution called the Sona Sustainability Credit Score System, a solution which uses sustainability factors as a criterion to improve financial institutions' lending practices. So to begin with, let's explore the terms greener banking and sustainable finance. The idea that financial institutions have a very important role to play in making the world more socially and environmentally sustainable and mitigating climate change. As someone who has completed a degree in economics, a master's in accounting and finance, an MBA, the CFA level one qualification, is a fully qualified management accountant and has worked in corporate and investment banking for over 15 years. I can assure you that these terms are not oxymorons. We can and we should find ways to improve the non-economic performance of financial institutions and companies around the world. An environmental and social risk management framework which integrates sustainability into widespread funding and credit products is urgently needed. Unlocking capital to greener investments is a necessary condition to mitigate climate change and this will mean going beyond simple commitments to greener production. Companies must indeed generate profits to ensure their own survival. However, companies exist to provide social value. In doing so, they contribute to improving people's lives, increasing people's happiness, and solving social issues. If a company optimizes only their shareholder value and not the value of other multi-stakeholders, society cannot be sustainable. So, can a change towards sustainable finance be achieved through market-based solutions or will it need to be regulatory driven? There is a school of thought that suggests that only regulators and financial authorities can lead the financial industry towards more sustainable goals. This school of thought also states that no market-based solution can be viable or desirable and only government entities can essentially enforce more sustainable behaviors and policies on financial institutions. However, this method of enforcement often results in situations where financial institutions publish social and environmental reports in line with the required regula regulations without actually implementing any true policies for improving non-financial outcomes. This is known as greenwashing and is nothing more than positive marketing. In other words, this type of pressure by regulators simply does not work. As many of you will know, aside from a handful of countries, such as the Scandinavian countries, most countries in the world cannot rely on public authorities to do what is best for society always. A change in the system must come from those that work within the system. In essence, market-based services and solutions which improve financial decision-making. While there is still a huge discourse for sustainable lending practices, there is still a huge gap in the adoption of these solutions commercially by banks and other financial institutions. One key reason for this is that there is no standardization of non-financial metrics. Many banks use what is known as the environmental, social and governance or ESG scores which were created in 2005. These are self-reported scores or data which larger companies report, some with more detail than others. The problem with ESG reporting is that there is a huge incentive to disclose good data and not bad data. In addition, we do not have non-financial rankings or scores for companies aside from the largest listed companies in the world. So what about the remaining 99.9% .9 of companies in the world which are not required to disclose this information? That's where commercial banks come in. Banks and funds are overlooked players in market-based solutions to climate change mitigation. 
they are responsible for deciding which kind of business economy receives funding. A change in banking and investment approach that measures and rewards environmental sustainable behaviors will encourage millions of companies to adopt these sustainable practices. We need proactive lending behavior. We need a framework that integrates sustainability into funding and credit products that is created by the market, driven by the market and which becomes the standard for the market. Capital markets are enormous. We need mechanisms to allocate capital efficiently into more sustainable investments and to make sustainable lending a larger part of the financial markets. This is where SONA Sustainability Credit Score System, otherwise known as the SSCSS, comes into play. The SSCSS enables banks to generate non-financial credit ratings focused on sustainability metrics, which can be incorporated seamlessly into their loan evaluation process. These sustainability scores produced by the SSCSS are like those produced by rating agencies such as S&P, Moody's and Fitch, with investment grade ratings ranging from AAA to BBB- and non-investment grade being those below BBB-. This system has the potential to generate a competitive advantage for companies by reducing information asymmetry between the organization and its stakeholders, reducing the probability of default by lenders, reputational risk and potential fines for both lenders and businesses. The SSCSS is also able to produce more favorable loan contracts, reducing interest rates and enabling greater access to capital for companies that are actively working towards social and environmental sustainability. The SSCSS differs from regular ESG scores as it looks at opportunities as well as risks, whereas ESG predominantly looks only at risks. With the SSCSS, banks have the opportunity to reward good sustainability practice within companies they lend money to, as well as penalize those that fall behind the curve in terms of sustainability practices. After all, a rating model that only reduces access to capital cannot be very useful to the financial industry. To learn more about the SONA Sustainability Credit Score System, visit www.sonaanalytics.com and register to begin your free trial today. Thank you.